I'm pulling a LeBron James with Omega. We're just, you know, when he went to the Miami Heat and he just bought up every major player and said, I want to win a championship. So this is what we're going to do. So I've been going to all these schools just like buying out professors' contracts and saying, you're not going to teach for a year. You're just going to work on Omega. The other thing I'm trying to do is attach a prototyping team with each paper team. Because if you look at our latency for paper to market, Genesis came out in 2018. That's too long to take have that kind of latency from when the paper is peer-reviewed and published to when the paper is brought into production. I want to do prototyping in parallel with paper development so that when the paper hits, there's already a working prototype for it. And all of our discussions are about integration at that point. And, you know, our time to market is in three to six months instead of three years. That's another major objective this year. And we've brought on specialized people that that's all they do and that's all that they think about. We're hiring almost 200 people this year for IO Global. We're really scaling up. We know how to win. And I want to, and the community wants to. So I say, fuck it, let's go and do it. We're pushing. As you like to say, you know, going for number one, I see no reason why we couldn't get there, but we have to really be disciplined and focused and we have to keep the momentum and we have to keep refining. So for example, the concept of bringing QA people in to do nothing but bug fixing to run in parallel with feature delivery, normally we would have just rotated resources back and forth and made it the concern of the, the delivery team. The fact that we're doing that parallel is the first time we've really done that. But if that's right and that hypothesis is right, we pull that off, we could shave a month off of delivery. So there's hundreds of little optimizations that I'm trying to figure out and trying to put in with our CTO, Roman is doing a phenomenal job, so specifically along those lines so we can continue accelerating delivery and we can continue bringing more and more to market. We've actually already, for example, begun looking at Daedalus 2. So we have Daedalus, we've started planning Daedalus 2 and making that a mobile first, a browser first experience in addition to a full mode. So basically it runs beautiful in a light mode, it runs beautiful in a full mode, and that'll be part of the Cardano 2025 agenda that we, uh, that we propose. So we're very excited about these things.